So a, b to the x minus h plus k. So let's take a look at some examples of, of these graphs. So if we look at a basic graph, y equals 2 times 3 to the x. Okay, one thing that you'll notice is that this base, if it's greater than 1, okay, so if the base is greater than 1, it's going to be a growth function. It's going to be growing to the right. But if the base is in between 0 and 1, say like a half or a third or a fourth, it's going to be a decay function. So it's actually going to be decreasing. It's going to be going down to the right. What you'll notice in both of these little mini sketches I've drawn is that the graph gets closer and closer to the x-axis. That's the horizontal asymptote. So asymptote it gets closer and closer to, it doesn't cross. So let's take a look at how to graph this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a table. We're going to say, let's pick maybe negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds. Anything to the 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. 3 to the first is 3 itself times 2 is 6. And 3 to the second is 9 times 2 is 18. So if we plot these points, what it's going to look like is negative 1, we're up here at 2 thirds. 0, we're at 2. 1, we're at 6. Okay. And then at 2, we're at 18, it starts to go right off the graph. It's growing faster and faster, okay, like that. So it just goes up at a faster and faster rate. It's exponential growth. Now, again, notice that this horizontal asymptote, the x-axis, which is also the line y equals 0, okay, it gets closer and closer to that line. That's the asymptote. Okay, now... What we're going to do is we're going to shift this graph. So let's say instead of right, graphing y equals 2 times 3 to the x, we do y equals 2 times 3 to the x minus 2 plus 1. So what do you think the 2 and the 1 do to the graph? Well, that's right. The 2 goes shifting right to. See, this one actually has the opposite effect on the graph from the sign. So negative is actually going positive 2. If it was plus, it would actually go left 2. And the plus one is going to shift the graph up one, which means that this asymptote is also going to shift up one. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our asymptote here at y equals one. Every point is going to be shifting right two and up one. So this point here is going to be going right one, two, up one. So now it's there. Set if this point is going to go right two, up one, and this point here, right two, up one. So you can see now the graph looks like this. Okay, so that's exponential growth. Another question that uh, teachers will ask you in regards to this type of graph is what is the domain and what is the range? So the domain, you think about what are the possible x values and the range, what are the possible y values? So for domain, I scan from left to right because that's the direction of the x-axis. And the range, I scan from low to high. That's the, the vertical direction. That's the, what the y values represent. So in this case, you can see the graph goes to the left and the right forever. So the domain is all real numbers. The range are going from low to high. You can see this is above 1. So we could say that y is greater than 